Oh, this is going to be a mess. And I'll get you up in here. Come on. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be working on the permanent animal farms uh, that are going to be in the four corners. Uh, four corners because we need to get pigs. And the chickens are okay right where they are, right over there. I'm like all backwards. So I've been breeding these guys up, yibbity yabbity. You can see there's some babies still. Um, what we're going to do is on each corner of our island here, we are going to have a small pyramid with a simple um, system inside for keeping track of our... Well, not for keeping track, for breeding and then eventually making food from our animals. So I'm going to consider this as a corner. These are going to be, I think, 9 by 9. Let me just grab some dirt super duper quick, which we have right in here. And I believe it's a top chest. Yeah, we're going to grab a stack and we're going to see. I'm just going to do a, a really quick demo here. So here is our central column that's going to have hopper animals second part and then we have to have one go like this so that's one two three four five six seven so it's going to be a seven by seven structure maybe nine by nine um, we're gonna get to these guys if you jump up on there, I'm going to smack you in the face. Okay, you generally just walk. You don't jump. But, yeah. We're going to get... And I don't have to worry about that. We've got more than enough wheat. We are going to make sure that this is a 9x9. Nine nine, and we're going to be starting off with a gravel... A uh, cobblestone foundation right back here. Right back here. Now, I've gone and I've been working on getting boots and stuff taken care of so um, I enchanted all these guys here you can pause and see what I got and I had to burn through some books to get the other things respiration 3 and aqua affinity um, we now have mending on our fortune 3 pick which is good and bad I'll have to carry a crafting table with me and make blocks as we go we have a nice fortune 2 efficiency 3 and breaking 3 shovel and then this is like the big bad sword of swordness that we will be using and then we've got another one we found a lot of stuff while fishing now this is gonna be a 3x3 three three. I'm gonna bring this bridge out by 6 that's 3 4 5 and 6 this is the central area right here. I'm going to just mark it with a bit of cobblestone. There we go. Now, let's build out from here a 9 by 9. So we have to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to make it 9 by 9 just, just because. And then that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total. So this is going to be the the basis. Each one's going to be very similar. I might make different um some different uh, material, but for the most part, we are going to be dealing with this stuff here. Now, and watch this. Pow. It goes quick. I love having equipment that has enchantments. And now I'm protected in my room when I'm doing AFK fishing. So I don't have to worry too much about it. So let's get this taken care of. There we go. Um, what I am probably going to be doing is setting up hopper chains that will go to a much larger storage area because the chests that I have now just aren't really doing a lot of good. If you know what I'm talking about. 
Alright. There we go. Our 9 by 9 is set up, and this is the central area. Let's find the very middle. So we got one, two, three, four, and that's the middle right there, I believe. Yep, that's the middle. And what we need to do is bring out our paving stuff. So I'm gonna make this guy, well, we're gonna start with cobblestone because we're not gonna see that. Oh, let's see here. The exterior is going to be red. Yeah, red. We will get our torches down and put one on each corner. Because a 9x9, nine nine, that should completely take care of everything. And I might have to go. Because family might be getting back home from church soon. I'll know in a few moments if I hear my son run in saying, Daddy, we're home, then guesses they are home. All right, and right here, we're just going to have a straight red brick all the way up. There we go. Now, this stuff here, it's going to mainly be covered up, so I'm just going to use cobble to fill in and we'll use other bricks if we need to and as soon as I get this filled in we will go ahead and get the contraption started come here cobblestone it's not going to require too many hoppers or resources this is by impulse SV I found it on his channel and I thought it was whiz bang as some people would say all right, now we're going to put this out like so. Yeah, I've got a shovel. Why did I do that? And then we put the hopper on like that. I need a dispenser. That's the one thing that I forgot. Let's get up here and get one. Because I should have one right down in here. Watch how. Dispenserino. Indispensable. That's right, indispensable. Okay, so we need to pull out our stone bricks, which we don't have stone bricks. We're going to be using polished andesite for the base. This, and we're going to put up a bucket of water. I like to put it in the middle. Good job. And let's get our refill. There we go. This is for those other guys over there. I'm going to be tying them up here soon. So there we go. We've got that. And what we need to do now is just go along each side like so. We're leaving this part open. And then here's the top part. Just like so. Now what we need to do is put a button here. And we need to make sure that that is taken care of. Why don't we just put a half slab like that for now. I can put glass there. And we'll put a slab there. Or what I could do, and that just went in there, yep, yep, is use stairs. I'll just use some backward stairs to come in from this side. There we go. Turn it in upside down and then come in over on this side and turn this that way. That'll look nice and straight. And yeah, let's just do this. We're going to go and get some full blocks here because I am a Dorcas. I'm the king of the dorks, as my wife would tell me. And I should have planned this out. They are right here. We'll just make a stack of them. There we go. Butter living. 
being on a small island, it's really easy to get from one end to the other. I don't have to take any type of transportation to get there. So let's get this all set up uh, properly. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these steps and we're going to go one, two, and three. Oh yeah, I, I I did that just about right, and I think that has to be a solid block there. So I can't do it. I wanted to. Hmm. And we're going to do the same thing here. One, two three reclaim and one two and three and lastly one two and three now these other ones are pretty much going to be for um, for looks We can do cobblestone here because we don't have to worry too much about people seeing that. Uh, that will be seen. All right. Anyway, let's let's get up here. And what's going to happen is once we get the cows in here, we'll hit that button. They'll they'll bob up and down in the water swimming, and we can feed them. And then we'll get baby cows born. And due to the uh, game rule max entity crowding I believe it's called max entity cramming there we go max entity cramming uh, when we hit this to get the water back the cows will all go down in there and then the adult cows will die off and their drops will go into the hopper and we can come down here into this chest and grab them and in actuality what we're gonna do is this and we're gonna put this chest right like that because then we can put in an actual block here two blocks actually and it looks a little cheesy yeah I know I know but now what we're gonna do is put the ring of stairs at the top like so and we're really not going to be coming in from the side. This is a lot to uh, keep mobs from spawning out here that we don't want spawning out here. And we're going to ensure that the entirety of the inside here is filled with stone. Cobble to be exact. There we go. And come over here and finish this side because we're gonna be coming in from the left we're not gonna to care too much about this side here Woo! and that's why we're not really caring too much and we could probably change these two three right here here and here to the stone brick or andesite if we really wanted to be fancy fancy so we'll do this that will be filled we need that and then cobblestone for the rest there now it looks nice and fancy and smooth and nice and um, we'll be coming in here so as long as that has that stuff we can use brick to make this part look good Let's grab those stairs and bring them around. There we go. And that is our pyramid. Let's kill that light. And pow, pow, pow. And if we look in here, we can put cobble up in there Ugh. there's cobble cobble and we will do our brick right here and we have a little entryway to come in and get into our chest and come out I'm gonna change this up to match the rest of the floor Probably didn't need to do that one. 
but that's going to look okay. And I have some leads so that we can get cows moved up here and everything. And since this is all stairs, we don't have to worry about the spawnings of hostels. And I'll have to make some more stairs. Darn it. There we go. One, two, 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 two. I've played this game before. I know what I'm not doing. I'm I'm not playing it well. That's that's the only thing I can tell you. So it's just a stock basic. Um as I fall there we go. A stock basic pyramid. And I think I it would be nice to change the middle up here so that it was something different. Different. Do I have it? Yeah, I can make it. Hello. We'll take care of you in a second. Let's make some more stairs. We're all, I'm only going to do this one um, pyramid on camera. The rest will be done off camera, of course, because you guys don't need to see me do this like 70 more times. Or as many more times as necessary. As is necessary, or something. I don't know. There we go. Now, things can spawn up here. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw torches like that just because I can. And, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I really like it that way. So, let's put a stair here, put a stair here, and get rid of these right here. Which means this and this have to change. So, one, two, three, and I'm all out of that. I'll fix that later. Pow, we'll just put a torch right here for now, so we have light. Hello! You can come up here, and I'm going to put a fence post right above that so I don't fall into there. Right now, we're going to grab some cows. We're going to have animals all over the place here. So, let's do this. There we go. Come on, cow. And let's get the lead and get the next one. So let's let's do this. We all we need is two cows. It's going to be a pain in the butt otherwise. Come on. The wind is starting to pick up outside there. Come on. And it broke. Oh, this is going to be a mess. And I'll get you up in here. Come on. There you go. And that's what's going to happen. They'll, they'll just float and everything. And let's get over here and close this up. We'll go ahead and kill these sheep. I think that's all the animals that escaped, except for that one cow that is over here, wherever he went, there he is, or she. I got stuck in the water. Let's get you up here. There. Now we're going to take this guy and go like so. And now we can feed these guys and not fall in. And we can collect the steak and everything right there. That's all there is to it. 
Uh, we've got some stuff there. Let, let's get these guys taken care of now. What we're going to do, we're just going to put a fence post right here. We're going to name these horsey dudes. Ah, uh, and that is why this is working. Let's get something to eat. Oh, we'll have some mutton for once. I've been eating fish for so long. All right. You, you're going to get a name. It'll be known as Lightning. Shift, right click. Okay, so let's get a lead and bring him up on the look up on the shore here. Alright, well that's not going to work. Let's get some cobblestone put under him. Or dirt, or something. Put a saddle on him. See if we can name him. Lightning. There we go. And up here, there we go, over around here, up here. Let's grab a lead. Come on. How, how, how? It's been done before. Huh, it looks like I'm going to have to put him in a pen. But he's now known as Lightning. All right. Can't I guess you can't put leads on on horses. That that kind of silly. All right. So we'll set up a pen. We've got, let's do a quick, a quick pen right here, right over here. So, uh, this is not what I wanted to do today. They're two by two. So let's make this that, that big right there. Yeah, that'll work. We've got fences and we can bring them in like so. Kill the sand. You're kidding me, right? Nerf. We'll do this. They're they're two by two, so they can't really go. Oh, they can. Hmm. So let's get off here and get back here. There. Now we're going to do this and put this here. Do this and put this here. Then I can take care of these. He can't get around that now, as far as I'm aware. We've got him taken care of. Let's get this dude taken care of. Put a saddle on him. He is going to be known as Thunderbolt. There we go. And right down in here. Thunderbolt and lightning. Very, very frightening. Now, uh, yeah. If you guys saw last episode... You know where these guys came from. And let's just put down sand right here. So I can get in and out. I'll fix that up later. That is a good build, I think. Thank you, Impulse SV, for providing this simple farm and using the game mechanics against the game. 
Now I can go and I can kill off all these cows because I'm not going to bring them over there. No way. <clears throat> that was a pain. And you may have noticed that I did a little bit of updating down here. So we'll put these last two like that. And I'll leave you with this. So until next time, enjoy playing Minecraft. Enjoy playing games. As always, this is Excalibur, and I am out. <laughs>